Hey, boys and girls, it's time for the children's sermon. I'm Pastor Doug, and this is Pastor Julia, and we're here to uh, teach today's lesson. And so I hope that you're in a position where you can see, um, because we've got something really cool to tell you. In fact, um, Pastor Julia doesn't even know what what we're going to talk about today. I'm going to tell her. And so, Pastor Julia, I was um, thinking about starting a new church. And so I was reading in the Bible about the first Christians and what they did when they first gathered together. Mm -hmm. And I thought that would be a good model for starting my new church. It's a good idea. So what they decided to do, it says in Acts, the book of Acts, uh, chapter 2, verse 42, that the first Christians, when they gathered, they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching. Okay. to fellowship, to the breaking of bread, and to prayer. Okay. okay. So apostles' teaching. Apostles' teaching. Fellowship. Fellowship. Breaking of bread. Breaking of bread. And prayer. And prayer. Okay. So I was wondering if you could uh, do that with me, and maybe we could start our own church. I'd love to. Let's okay. Do it. So I'm going to um, teach you something. From, okay. from the, the first apostles, from the first disciples. Awesome. Okay, you ready? Yeah. God loves you. <sighs> Man, that's awesome. Isn't that cool? That's God really loves good you news. too. That's right. So that's, that's our teaching for today. Great. All right. Good teaching. Yeah, can you teach somebody else? Hey, God loves you. God loves you. That's right. All right, so that's the apostles' teaching. Fellowship means getting together. Okay. Okay. And so um, one of the ways that we can uh, talk about getting together um, is uh, by hugging. All right? Sounds good. We're fellowshipping. All right? I like it. All right? So we've done the apostles' teaching, and we fellowshiped. Okay, what's next? Breaking of bread. I like it. Breaking okay. of bread. That sounds okay. good. So breaking of bread back in the first century um, probably meant that they were sharing a meal, maybe communion. Um, but it's certainly that they were sharing something. I happen to have brought some bread oh, to share with you. Awesome. If you would like some. Oh, yeah. Thank there you. There you go. Yeah. Yummy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So my thought is if you want to help us that you don't have to have bread, but if you have something that you could share with somebody around you, with your brother or sister or friend or mom and dad or grandma or grandpa. Um, Think of a toy. Um, Maybe if you have some lemonade or maybe you've got some bread laying around, you know, some food. Uh, Think of things that you could share. That's a good idea. All right. So what were they? We were apostles teaching, fellowship, breaking breaking of of bread, bread, and do you remember the last one? I do. Do you remember the last one? It's prayer, prayer. All right, so can we pray? Let's do it. Okay, I'm going to lead you in prayer. I want you to repeat after me. Okay, that sounds good. All right, dear God. Dear God. Thank you. Thank you. For our lives. For our lives. For your love. For your love. For all of our family. For all of our family. And our friends. And our friends. And the whole world around us. And the whole world around us. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, we did it. We, we did started the apostles. We started a church with the apostles' teaching, fellowship, breaking of bread, and prayer. Pretty cool. That was fun. Wasn't that neat? But you know what? What? We don't have to start a new church. We already do those things in our church. You're right. So we, we do. don't have to do, we can do those things without having to start a new thing, because we're already doing them now. So wherever you go, I invite you to do those things, to take part in the apostles' teaching, fellowship, the breaking of bread, and prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks, boys and girls. Good to see you.